Well, some teachers in Muncie will have to pay back thousands of dollars in insurance money. The plan was outlined in a newsletter from the Teachers Union today. 24 Hour News 8's Tim McNicholas live at the Muncie Community Schools headquarters this evening. Tim, uh, this seems unusual. Why is this happening? Well, teachers were working under an old contract from 2015 to 2017 while the teachers union and the school district negotiated a new deal. Teachers insurance premiums went up during those two years. Now they have to pay back the difference. So according to the newsletter from the teachers union, depending on their plan, teachers will pay 50 to $130 per paycheck from the next 18 paychecks. That means some teachers will pay anywhere from $900 to $2,300. Teachers who no longer work for the school will get a bill in the mail. A district spokesperson says they can contact the finance office to make payment arrangements. You might recall the state eventually stepped in during negotiations and decided the district and union would move forward with the union's best offer. Pat Kennedy is president of that union, the Muncie Teachers Association. It's amazing the cuts are as minimal, and I'm not trying, trying to downplay the people who are upset, sure. but if they would look at the whole picture, they would be thanking their lucky stars. So we reached out to the school district and they directed us to the district's emergency manager, manager, Steve Edwards, who was appointed by the state. He says teachers will be paying back, quote, a whole lot more under the district's plan. Edwards said the district could run out of money by the end of the year, but he says schools will not shut down. I asked him what will happen if the district does run out of money. We'll hear his response tonight at 6. Live in Muncie, I'm Tim McNicholas, 24-Hour News 8.